What's going on, YouTube? All right, so it looks like it's time for episode three of uh, Auction Infinity, and we're gonna do we're gonna get to the wheels today. So it's yes, it's February first, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and here in Oklahoma it's actually 73 degrees, so it's a great day to get these wheels painted. So uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get the garage door open, uh, get the car resituated, get the wheels off, uh, and get to work on that. One other thing that I decided to do today is. Um, I'm not sure if you could tell from the previous video, but when the gar car goes into drive or reverse, you can hear a slight clicking noise. I did a little bit of research and what I found is that's actually coming from the half shafts clicking inside the hubs for some reason. So uh, we're going to try to take those off, see if we can address that, see if we can kind of get rid of a little, little bit of that noise. So uh, I'm going to get some started on this now and I'll get you guys some updates soon, but I won't bore you with too much <laughs> of moving cars around. All right. Okay, so got the wheels off the car, uh, and this is what we're working with. I know we saw a little bit of this before. Uh, actually, this wheel right here is pretty much perfect. I don't know that I'm gonna mess with it. I actually, I mean, I see a, a slight scuff here, but uh, we're painting them all silver. It's pretty much perfect. I don't think I'm going to respray that, so I'm probably just gonna maybe just uh, re-clean the tire and everything, and, and we'll see about that one. Uh, the rest of this, this one here is the one that had all of the uh, the damage in the clear coat. You can kind of see how that's peeling. It actually is even peeling in spots around the lug nut holes there. So that one is, is definitely got to be done. And uh, we know the black ones have to be done. So what we're going to do now is um, kind of grab uh, probably about a, a 400 grit, maybe 600 grit of sandpaper. Uh, get sanding and, uh, and we'll... Uh, then we'll get ready to prep it for paint. Okay. Okay. So we got the first one all roughed up. Now we're on to the next ones. And again, we're just trying to really give it a surface to adhere to, the paint to adhere to. Of course, on this one, on the, on the silver one, we really wanted to try to see if we could make sure that there wasn't any feeling or any um, texture to the, uh, the clear coat that was really had an issue. So uh, again, may have to do a couple of more passes over that just to make sure. But now we're gonna start seeing if we can get some of this black off. And actually that's coming off pretty, pretty well. I don't know what was used on this, if this happens to be just black paint, or if we're dealing with, um, didn't really feel like it was peeling like, uh, as long as you can kind of scratch that it comes off, but it wasn't really peeling like plasti dip, so I'm not really sure uh, in that round, but uh, either way it goes, we'll, uh, we'll attack it and get it taken care of. Like I said, it is kind of certain spots it will peel, but, but not, not too well. So we're just gonna sand it down and go to town. Okay, we got two wheels down. One more to go. And then we'll get some cleanup going. And uh, prep them real well. See what we can do and, and get them painted. Okay, boys, we got them all cleaned up. Now we're going to uh, dry them off. See if we can't get them taped up and start uh, spraying a little silver. So that's, uh, that's what they look like sanded down. Again, this one here. Not gonna get repainted, but uh, these these three here will. All right. Okay. So again, we use some wheel and tire cleaner. Got them all cleaned up. Uh, so now I'm going to see. Well, last time I did this, the wheel and tire cleaner didn't quite clean it up as good as I wanted to, and I couldn't get the tape to adhere to the tires when I was masking off. So hopefully, this new wheel and tire cleaner I just used did the trick. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can't get a mask mask off and uh, start laying down some silver. Uh, and then once I can get that started, then I can start working on those half shafts uh, kind of while they're drying. So that's that's the goal. So let's see what we can get done. Okay, fellas. So uh, couldn't get tape to stick, but we're and didn't have index cards. So I actually had some uh, <laughs> funny enough some old CD label maker kits. Cut them up, and I'm using those because uh, they were just kind of a harder paper. Uh, and then, uh, so now we're to the point here where we're gonna go ahead and spray uh, some silver. Uh, start seeing where we're at. 
Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna get this paint shaken up real good. And then we're gonna go for using the Duplicolor uh, silver wheel paint. Uh, looks like we're gonna put down a couple of light coats and you're supposed to wait 10 minutes between coats. Okay, so I know we've put a couple of coats on the, uh, the wheel. Uh, I have already started uh, taking up the nuts off the back of the half shaft, so that's done. So now we're just gonna break this, uh, this hub nut loose and see if we can't see what we look, we've got underneath. So, let's get that done real quick. Okay, so we're back on our hubs here. Um, does not look like we're gonna be able to get this passenger side out without dropping uh, the exhaust, which I do not plan on doing just to, to rid this clicking noise. I did see, again, doing this research, I did see where some people were actually just pushing that half shaft back in there and, and, uh, and greasing it up. Uh, so I'm gonna give that a shot. As well as I did watch a video uh, that used, they just put Loctite all over the, that uh, the shaft of, of the half shaft. And I don't want to go that far because I'd, I'd like to, uh, for the next owner to be able to remove the hub if they need to, <laughs> to replace a wheel bearing or whatnot. Uh, but um, I may put just maybe one one line of, uh, of thread lock on there, the blue thread lock, so it's not the, the hard permanent red stuff. But a little bit just kind of help it with stickiness to, to try to make sure that, that, uh, that we're not having any movement uh, on that shaft. So I'm gonna get started on that now. I'm uh, just going to have some uh, leftover Valvoline uh, multi-purpose grease, so that's what I'm going to use. Uh, and then, like I said, just a slight dab of, uh, of uh, blue dreadlock as well. Okay, so I'm just really applying a liberal amount of our grease in the shaft here, or well, around the shaft, the best that I can. I'm trying to get it back off in there in that shaft area. I feel like I'm doing that great a job. Uh, before I got on camera, I actually was on the back side just trying to lube up uh, the shaft from there since it is pushed backwards through the, uh, of course, through the, through the hub. So, but uh, trying to do what I can to get my finger in there and see how much of this grease we can get on those. Not really trying to get it on the threads of the half shaft, but more of the splines of this, this inner hub. So that's, that's what the, the goal is. Okay, so here we're gonna see what the goal was on, on this passenger side. I'm gonna do a little bit of lubing this as well as putting a little bit of the Loctite on there that I was, was talking about. Uh, and then like I said, uh, you probably can't see this on this passenger side once I can't get it off. So we gotta kind of give you a little bit of this demonstration here. So we're just basically taking a little bit of this lube, this crease, I'm sorry. And we're just gonna here on the splines of our half shaft. Is the, what we've seen on the, the videos on YouTube from, uh, from other uh, members. They're, uh, they're saying this is the way we actually fix that clicking noise. So that's what I'm going for. Again, didn't like the idea of just coating it with Loctite. We will put a little bit on there, but I just, you know, again, don't, don't think we want to put it on, <laughs> put this bad boy on here permanently and never be able to get it off again. So basically what I'm doing is coating it all the way around and I'm leaving about one center spline here without any, any grease. And on that one center spline is where I'm planning on putting my Loctite. And once we put the Loctite on here, we'll wanna kinda put it in the car sooner. Open spline here. 
so that's why I'm just gonna play a little bit. Let's get this line along top of there. And let that sit for a second, get a little, hopefully we'll get a little tacky, and then I'm gonna go start sticking in the car. Okay, boys, so we've got everything wrapped up. As far as uh, the paint work, um, as far as the grease, greasing the, um, the splines, everything's set now. Right now we're just letting the uh, wheels dry before I start handling them and, and putting them back on the car. Uh, I think it's actually, I think the, the can says it's usually best to wait one hour to set handle and three hours for actually, uh, probably for mounting. So uh, we'll give you a quick look on uh, to what those wheels came out looking like, okay? Okay, and there's the finished product right now. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually how well that's showing up. This is actually was just the last uh, clear coat. So uh, again, um, they're not going to be perfect. I think they look a lot better than, <laughs> than what we had as far as two, two black and, and, uh, and, and two silver. But uh, we got all that, uh, that nasty um, feeling out for this one. Uh, we still have a couple of spots like here. That's just because I didn't have anything to actually fill that metal in, but uh, it still looks really good. Uh, you know, for for a used car, this is going to look really, really nice. Uh, again, I didn't want to bore you guys with the clear coat, but I did uh, lay down about three to four coats of clear coat. Uh, so now, like I said, just going to let it dry before we put them, uh, uh, actually start handling and moving them around. All right, guys. Okay guys, so we let the wheels set overnight to make sure that they were cured, the paint cured real well because we didn't want to you know, mess them up or anything like that. So, But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like as well as I was, like, just like you guys, I'm always on YouTube, I was looking for a tire shine type stuff and I found this really cool product on one of the other videos. Uh, it's called Coverall. Uh, you can pick it up down at uh, O'Reilly's. Uh, I think it was about $9.99 a can. The, the person that I saw online put this on, it was it was really, I mean, it, it gave a tire shine that I've never seen before. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. So uh, I'll give you guys a, a quick um, video. I'm, I'm just gonna give you a, a quick few clips of me uh, putting cover all on the tires and that way you guys can take a look at it and see uh, what you think as well too. Okay, so we got uh, the cover all put all over the tires. And I'm not sure if you can tell, man, but that looks, it's a real nice <laughs> wet look like you see at the car dealerships. So that's uh looks really, really good. I think the wheels came out looking real nice. Uh, again, don't necessarily look 100% uh, flawless, but, uh, but definitely, man, 10 times better than what we were working with before. So we're, we're all silver now. All the way around. Looking, looking real good. So, all right, guys, that's gonna be the last, last little bit for this one here. Um, next video we'll have, and I guess chapter three, probably gonna be looking at taking off this front bumper so that we can get work done. Again, gotta get that uh, fog light replaced. But I'm gonna do some spraying here, and I can see maybe see it a little bit better in the light. Got some uh, some marks here on this front bumper. Uh, Again, around the headlights, but we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and fix all that, uh, and then we'll be ready to, to put it on the market. So uh, again, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've got some things coming on the 535i, so uh, we'll have some uh, some some content coming there as well. Uh, but again, hey, y'all have a great day, and we'll see you guys in the next video.